previously on Bromatic Life Adventures. Philly cheese steaks with no meat. Yes, I'm in the hospital. Y'all, check this out. It tastes just like me. But it's, this is some good stuff right here. Welcome to Bromatic Life Adventures. Let's go. All right. So for those of you all who follow my channel, and by the way, I appreciate those of you all who consistently follow Bromatic Life Adventures. You're very much appreciated. But you may have noticed that it's been a while since I've posted an episode. Actually, it's been about a month and some weeks since I posted my last episode. So what I wanna do for this episode is, I wanna share with you three things. Number one, I wanna share with you where I've been. Then I wanna share with you what's next for Bromatic Life Adventures. And then finally, I wanna share with you a special tribute to someone that really means a lot to me. One of the things that I vowed to do once I started Bromatic Life Adventures was to make sure that I was very authentic in whatever I laid out and shared with you all. So that's why sometimes not only will you see those wonderful, awesome RV and camping adventures, but you'll also see some of those moments and times when things weren't exactly favorable. Uh, I share those things as well. Recently, I lost my father and anyone who has lost someone close to you knows um, how trying uh, and difficult uh, that could be for anyone that you care about. But um, in particular, when it's a parent, it kind of hits you a little bit differently. So as you can imagine, um, losing my father and dealing with all the things that come with it, emotions and just all kind of things, um, I'm sure you understand that Shooting a video, shooting an episode is the last thing on my mind. Um, so that's where I've been. Um, for those of you all that are believers, uh, I appreciate your prayers for myself and my family. Special prayer for my mom. Her and my dad were married for 55 years. What a blessing um, he was to her. What a blessing he was to myself and my family. Um, but that is where um, I've been. One of the things that I realized uh, since I have been dealing with the loss of my father is just how much RVing and camping and shooting those videos, how much peace it brought me. So the videos and the things I share with you and the traveling and the adventures, those things are actually very therapeutic for me. So I'm looking forward to whenever I can get back to doing that, which will be soon. Uh, and my father would want would have wanted me to go ahead and continue doing those particular things. Uh, he did enjoy um, watching my videos, and he also enjoyed those uh, adventures that he got to go on um, with me. So that is where I've been. One of the things that I realized during my time out, and as I had an opportunity to reflect uh, on my life and even on this channel. I got some ideas for some things that I want to incorporate to Bromantic Life Adventures and the videos that I share. And so I'm gonna be doing some of that. One of those things is I am going to expand the type of um, RV campgrounds um, because I'm still working. The majority of my travels and adventures is in Texas. So I'm going to make it a point uh, from here on out to try to do a lot more things outside of Texas. Of course, I'm gonna to have to be creative with my schedule to be able to do that, but I'm going to share that with you. I'm excited about it. If you have any suggestions for any kind of RV camping adventures that you uh, would like to, to share with me, I would love to consider those. Let me know in the comments. 
Also, one of the things that I realized is that although I love my travel trailer, my Jayco Whitehawk 29BH 2022 travel trailer, I'm starting to realize that maybe I might need to get something a little bit different. I love it for rentals. Um, it's perfect for rentals. But as far as my own travels, I'm actually thinking toward a Sprinter van build. Um, I'm also considering a Class A. Um, so I'm going to share those things with you. Um, so those are just some of the things that, that are going to be next for um, Romantic Life Adventures, as well as I'm going to go ahead and start planning for my first live. And I have some creative things that I want to do with my lives that I have not seen anyone else do. So I'm going to be doing those things to try to enhance my channel. If you have any input and suggestions for anything you think I could do um, that may enhance Romantic Life Adventures, please share. I'm not one that acts like I know it all. I'm learning as I go. I'm learning from other uh, YouTubers um, who have been very helpful and very supportive, just like I try to be to them. So those are some things that are going to be happening next uh, with Bromatic Life Adventure. And finally, as I end this episode, I have a special tribute that I would like to share with you in honor of my dad. Dad, words cannot express how broken my heart is that you're gone. There was never a time that you were not there for us. There was never a time that you did not sacrifice for us. There was never a time that we didn't feel your love. There was never a time that you didn't push us and encourage us to be the best that we can be. I will always cherish your wise advice. I will miss the quality time we spent, especially the last year and a half after selling my house and moving back in with you. I'm glad we had the chance to scream together while watching football games and track meets. I'm glad you rolled with me on our RV camping trips, even when you weren't in the best of health. I remember the joy you had on your face when you traveled with me to go see the land I had purchased in Tennessee. You were so proud. There are so many other special moments we shared that are too numerous to name. I will never forget those wonderful times God allowed us to share together. Thank you for being a great example of a Christian husband, father, grandfather, uncle, brother, cousin, neighbor, and friend. There is no way I could have become the man I am today without all that you poured into me. I will always love you and miss you. Your son, Brian.